The following program is intended for mature audiences. Laughing at birds. now because I'm not going to be able to already she's saying to me she's like no leave me alone I don't want it listen I'm doing this now because I'm not going to be able to do this later everything is all fucked up everything is all fucked up right now I don't know What's going to go back to normal and what is it? So let me catch you up to speed with what the fuck is going on. All right. I have not done anything on this channel for a few days. I've tried not to. <laughs> I've tried not to. Every, I swear to Christ, every fucking time I go... I just want to live my life for a couple of days. This time, I want to save my voice. I want to save my voice. I don't want to overexert myself. I've been doing way too much. I know that. I know that. Right? Just let's fucking chill out. The universe then says, Oh, he's trying to fucking chill out. We better fucking put an end to this right now. Right now. Dude, there's, there's a story coming for next week. I'm sure I'm in the wrong. I'm just going to say it now. I don't, I don't, fuck you. I don't care. I don't care. I'm at the end. I'm at the end. That's what you need to know. That's what you need to know. I tried to, I tried to be the nice guy, man. They weren't, they weren't fucking having it. They weren't. Weren't having it. The lady was not having it. I tried to be nice to her. She didn't want nice. She didn't want nice. So that's her fault. She asked for it. Sometimes you give people shit they don't want because they need it. And sometimes people ask for it. They don't realize they have their hands out. But they do. That's coming. Whatever. So I'm getting fucked by my doctor. Right now is what's happening. Check this out. Let's let's change it up because I don't want to go too much into into the the ridiculousness that is that that is. I hate fucking YouTube commercials. You cunts are so greedy, bro. You you couldn't just settle with a fucking five second commercial, right? I understand we're used to going through commercials for five minutes at a time on television, but it's a new day in the rap game, right? Nobody sells ads but Google. You have to go. You have to go back to back. 10, 20 seconds of fucking ad. How much money do you think I have, bro? I got news for you. It's the seventh of the month. My bills are paid. I'm pretty much broke already. Which, by the way. I should add, I should start this all over. I should start this all over again. I don't want to, though. I don't want to, though. I have 10 minutes. T-shirts, $10, bro. Listen to me. Get your fucking wardrobe together. I'm not going to keep telling you. I'm going to keep telling you. I'm going to tell you until you can repeat what I'm going to say before I even fucking say it. Is how many times I'm gonna tell you because I'm not getting notifications on this goddamn cash app, bro, and that shit needs to change. <laughs> Seriously, though, I got shirts yesterday. You follow the fucking Instagram, bro. You know I'm out doing shit. 
ten dollar t-shirts, bro. Why fuck around? I guarantee you, this is the coolest shit. You're not gonna find this screen printed in the fucking store or from some jerk off podcast website. Oh, cool, bro. You're you're screen printing t-shirts. I'm proud of you. Welcome to the fucking 2001, bro. Everybody fucking screen prints. Fuck out of here. Your shit is not cool, different, or new at all. What we're doing over here is all those things hand fucking painted, which means sometimes there could be a fuck up on it someplace. What do you want, man? What do you want? What do you want? I'm not allowed to paint anymore. That's a whole separate... It's a whole separate thing. We can get into another time. What I want to tell you is t-shirts are fucking available. I'm going to do a better job of promoting them once we get a couple more thrown together, right? Tees are 10 bucks, dude. Long sleeves are 20 and hoodies are 30. I fucking guarantee you, guarantee you, you will not find a better fucking price on the internet. I'm guaranteeing it because I know. I know. I've been... I looked around. I need clothes myself. And I looked around at the fucking prices that people are trying to charge. And I'm fucking disgusted. I honestly... I'm gonna fucking pay her myself, dude. You want me to tell you the truth? I'm going to pay her to make me some shit. Because I'm not... I'm sorry. I'm not willing to spend $65 on a fucking hoodie, bro. I'm not willing to do it. I'm not giving you $25 for a t-shirt. Are you out of your fucking mind? What is wrong with me that I would think that I would charge somebody that much, dude? That's fucking ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's not... There's no... I, just, I can't I can't do that and put my fucking head on the pillow at night, dude. I can't do it. I just... It, I just... I personally... I can't. Some people can. I can't fucking do it. I can't do it. It's not for me. It's not how I'm built. It's not what I can do. So look, I'm not going to be able to do this tomorrow because I'm getting actively fucked by my doctor's office right now. Same people who've been voted number fucking one in the newspaper for fucking like six years in a row. I, I don't know how. Probably because every patient they have other than me has dementia and doesn't remember the fucking terrible experience that they have when they go into this place. That's how they fucking get number one. This is crazy town, what I'm going to have to do now. And I don't know if I'm lazy in my old age or if it's just that, like, I'm so... I mean, I don't know. I shouldn't shouldn't say that because I don't feel like trying to figure... It's inconvenience. It is inconvenience that I have to now figure out how many buses I have to take to get to this cocksucker appointment. That annoys me. If it wasn't COVID, if it wasn't COVID, dude... Whatever, I've taken the bus a million times to thousands of places. That's not a problem. I haven't done it in a long time. It'd be nice for me to, you know, have to go and do it again. And make sure I fucking still got it, you know? What annoys me, though, is the fact that this is a COVID thing, right? All this could have been avoided. Now, I fucked up. I fucked up. Here's what happened. Here's what happened. Last month, in the middle of a fucking hurricane, a tornado, power going out, tropical fucking storm, all types of shit happening. Things going on in the apartment complex, around the apartment complex. It has been a fucking stressful month, bro. Last month was a stressful month, dude. If 2020 was a month, it would have been last month for for our lives, personally, COVID aside. And... You know, all the other terrible things that happened before then. I'm just saying, in a vacuum, by itself, you know. I go to this appointment, dude. After months of the doctor... For those of you that don't know... It's Mr. Madrox. For those of you that don't know, even the doctor... Even the doctor was home. Even the fucking doctor said, I'm not fucking going in there. What are you, crazy? Are you crazy? I'm sorry. I went to school for how many? Oh, cool. And you want me to walk in there? And yeah, no, I don't I don't think so. I don't think so. We'll do phoners this month. We'll do, call, somebody call the DEA and let them know that I'll be, I'll be hooking all my patients up with their drugs on the phone, please. 
We're going to take this back to the fucking Pablo Escobar um, Noriega days, bro. Yeah. Because that makes sense. Everybody in 2020 will get that reference. Narcos is a big deal, right? Fucking, you don't know who, you don't know who Marty Bird is? Come on now. That's a different show. I know that. If you're paying attention at home, you should know that. What does that have to do with anything? Even a doctor said, I'm not going in. For months. Even though, despite the fact that even the doctor didn't want to go into the office, they still tried to force me to go in. I say, get what I say, everybody. I say, nay, nay. That's fucking right. I'm not do. I'm sorry. If the doctor... If the doctor's not going in the office, you will not see me. You will not see me. You can find some other fucking idiot that will go into the office. Not me. I don't think so. I'm over here now. Fuck that. Fuck that. So, months go by, right? Literally, our governor has just announced that restaurants are going to start opening up 25% capacity for indoor dining. With social distancing tables. Okay. Everybody fucking hears that. And because they've been in the house for six months. Whatever it is. They're going bananas dude. When I hear that I go. There's still a table in between. At 25% capacity. We are nowhere near to the point where you should safely be able to take the fucking transit bus dude. What choice do I have? I don't. And I will I'll explain to you in a second. I need to I need to go and get a drink like right now, dude. I can't so you're gonna have to fucking you're gonna have to just hold on. I'm not editing shit. Fuck you. You can <laughs> Is your closet looking a little bland? Yeah, fuck yeah! Haven't been able to get out to the store since the start of this coronavirus and quarantine. Hi, I'm YouTube sensation, Jack of One Tree. Some podcasters may choose to advertise for rather large companies and get a small percentage of profit in return. Here at Laughing at Birds, we've decided to go on alternate route. We surveyed and canvassed the community and found an independent artist. Stimulate your local economy and look fresh in the process. T-shirts, hoodies, long sleeve shirts, skull caps, and other items will be coming soon. Hashtag Laughing Birds, PayPal, Jack of One Trade. With the change of a season comes the need to upgrade your wardrobe. So don't be left out in the cold, looking like yesterday's tomatoes. That's right. $10 t-shirts, $20 long sleeve, $30 hoodies. You won't find prices that match ours anywhere else on the internet. I'm Jack of One Trade, and I approve this message. This message has been brought to you by the Laughing at Birds podcast. Check your local listings, 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Available on Anchor.fm, iTunes, Spotify, Overcast, and several other platforms. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, Jack of One Trade. A $5 deposit is required before any detailed work shall be done and will be ultimately placed towards the full amount of your purchase at checkout. Thank you in advance for your understanding. Sorry, no COPs. Shitty, horrible fucking songs. Fucking dirt neck cocksuckers. Dude, um, we're back. Listen. Mumble rappers have figured out a way to advertise, dude. YouTube's got it all fucked up with five second commercials. The way to do it, the way to do it is to find a company that's gonna make games that pretend they're going to pay people so that they'll actually play them. 
sorry. And then not pay them, but they forced them to watch ads every fucking couple of seconds. So what the mumble rapper kids do is, I'm going to put my fucking song here because I know it sucks so badly that nobody wants to hear it, but at least they won't have a choice. They won't have a choice. If your music sucks so badly that you have to hide it in a fucking commercial that is swindling people into believing they're getting paid money to play games, you should not make fucking music, dummy. Fuck. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting all, I'm getting all fucked up here, dude. I'm all fucked up here. Now, I have to watch what I play in my headphones because, God forbid, dude, God forbid my mic actually picks up what I'm listening to in, in my personal fucking time. Soon, soon, Sony and Warner Brothers and the rest of them are just going to come to your fucking door and go, where's that license for that fucking flow album you're listening to, bro? You can't. We own that shit. You can't listen to that album in your own time. You need to have a license. Eminem knocking on motherfuckers' doors. You got a license for that Marshmallows LP? Get the fuck out of here. Whatever. So, look. I fucked up. When I went to the doctors the last time, I was the only one in there. I told you about this. I'm pretty sure. It's been a long time. I don't know who I talked to, who I haven't. A bunch of you have come and a bunch of you have left. It doesn't matter because everybody that usually is going to leave is gone by now because I have 10 minutes and then everybody says, fuck you, I'm out, which I'm grateful that you give me at least that much, but I have a problem with making a point in 10 fucking minutes. So these motherfuckers have me come in the office. There's nobody there. I'm the only one. I go into the appointment, it's just me and the doctor, whatever, I do what I gotta do, I fucking go to the desk and I leave, they set me up another appointment, I swear to God, I'm not making shit up, dude, this is what happened, every time I go to an appointment, I go to the desk before I leave, the fucking lady behind the deal punches in a bunch of shit on a keyboard and says, how do you feel about this date around this time, which is always the same day around the same time, because I've had to condition it to be that way, right, so, okay, okay, I walk out, whatever, now, it is completely, it is stored in the back of my memory, while I then go through one of the shittiest months that we've had since we probably lived in the hotel in Seaside, for real, like that, that bad, that bad, so, I forgot, I should have had an appointment. I kind of fucking forgot about it. I was busy trying not to fucking go to jail for punching somebody in the face or losing my goddamn temper at, at a time where you can't afford to, right? You're a grown-ass adult. You need to be able to handle these situations even when people are begging you begging you to lose your fucking mind. You can't. Yeah, that's part of just being an adult, I guess, is you have to you have to remind yourself that you're held to a certain set of rules that even if other people forget that those rules apply to them as well. Because what's gonna happen is somebody can instigate you into punching them in the fucking face for eight hours and it doesn't matter the only thing that is heard is that you punched them in the face doesn't matter about the eight hours they stood in front of you and went hey 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 and you know they don't nobody cares about that nobody cares about that it's tough dude it's tough dude let me get to my fucking point I'm I'm just all of it is coming out, dude. Days of just not bringing it up. And then when I do say something about it, I have to say it in a certain way. Because you can't give up too much. So look. 
there is no fucking, there is no appointment that is made, apparently. All this time it goes by, the fucking property manager in the apartment is a nightmare. The stairs downstairs are falling fucking apart. We got no food in the fucking house, no way to get to the store, no money, everything is fucked. I'm dealing with all of this. This is the truth. This is the truth. And if that makes you uncomfortable, dickhead, that's your problem, not mine. That's on you, not me. I'm doing what I got to do to fucking live. And if you don't like that, then fuck you. How about that? That is not directed to anybody specifically. I mean, it is, but it isn't. Because I don't think whoever that would apply to would watch this video. It's just in case I want to have my bases covered. That's all. <sighs> Jesus. So. Everything is fucked up. I forget to make an appointment. I realize this because I'm about to run out of fucking pills. And I'm saying to myself, it's odd just how dumb I am. It's odd how my phone, I haven't gotten that phone call to say, you know, it's getting close to your appointment time. I'm pretty sure I should have had one of those already. I'm thinking this to myself, but I, I'm stupid. So, sorry, I had to fucking spit that out. Jesus, that's disgusting. All right, I'm going to have to cut out the other part too, because that's really gross. Fuck. I'm about to run out of pills. So, I realized this, and I don't know if anybody else goes through this, if this is an anxiety thing, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this now, and maybe some of you will get it, and some of you won't, but when I realize that I have to call them, I get anxious about it, because I know it's gonna be an issue, right? So then, rather than just doing it and get it over with, I had to give myself a day to just deal with the fucking fact that it's going to be a problem. And I know that it's not helpful to me to wait. It's actually detrimental to wait an extra day. It might have been arguably easier had I just called the day that I realized. But I just wasn't, I didn't, I was exhausted. I did not have the energy that I knew I was going to have to go into that phone call with. Which is going to be, you're going to be disrespected. You're going to be talked down to. You're going to be treated as if you're like not even a person, dude. This is the type of attitude that you deal with when you call these people. And I'm not making up stories because I'll fucking, I'll back up everything I'm about to say. I'll back up everything I'm about to say. I call them, right? I get somebody on the fucking phone, a lady I've never spoken to before because I know their voices now. I make it a point to know everybody I have to deal with. Because if we have an issue together, I want to fucking know that when I walk in the office next time, I got to find you and we got to figure this thing out. Because we're clearly, we're going to have to deal with each other. You work here, you're not going nowhere. I'm a patient here, I'm not going nowhere. So we need to figure this the fuck out. We need to either squash this, you got to switch with somebody, something's got to fucking happen here. Right? But I don't know this lady. I don't know this lady. So she... I go, I say to her, I go, listen, I know this is going to be a fucking deal. I know it's going to be a deal. So I say to this lady, I go, this is what my name is. I have an issue. I don't have an appointment. And I'm about to run out of pills. The last time I was there, and I explained to her, the last time I was there, it was a different office. It was just me by myself. Didn't even mention the fact that they took my fucking temperature and all that shit at the door. Because I wasn't even thinking about any of that. Right? But this lady, this fucking cocksucker on the other end of the phone is going to act like there's not a pandemic happening. She's going to say. Because she goes like, she goes, dude, she goes... 
I couldn't I couldn't make this up, bro. She goes What do you mean? What do you mean you don't have an appointment? You know you're supposed to have an appointment before you run out of your medicine. Now, I'm not doing her justice, but what the way that she's saying it is in the tone of "Hey, fuck you." That's that's the tone in her voice, All right? Very nasty, dude. And I'm like, I I know, I know, I know, I know. I I fucked up. I fucked it up. I fucked it all up. I'm having a midlife crisis here, if you don't mind. I feel like saying that, but you can't because any word you say to these people has to be carefully fucking tiptoed around and mapped out exactly. Because God forbid, they're just looking for a reason to take you out of context, bro. All of them. All these doctors are. And you can say whatever you want. I don't know who you go and see. I see terrible fucking people. All of them have been horrible. Every fucking one of them. Except for one. Except for one fucking dude. One dude. I don't have time to talk about him right now. She says, you're supposed to have an appointment. I said, I know my power. And I literally said, between our power going out and us not having food in my house was a little bit more important than a doctor's appointment. Like I didn't, I didn't say it like that. I basically said I understand I should have made an appointment, right? I thought that I did. I didn't realize until just now that I'm about to run out of pills. I'm not really sure what to do. I understand this is like a f- inconvenience, you know? She's like, <sighs> like as if she's gotta, as if she's gotta make she's gotta you don't understand what she has to do right now she has to this woman on the phone when she hangs up with me she has to fucking call her travel agent right and she has to catch a plane out to Colombia so she can go cut the poppies off of the fucking plants and then bring their bulbs all the way back wherever the fuck they need to go then over to Pfizer so that she can herself put a mask on put some goggles on and her and a bunch of workers from Pfizer or Purdue or whatever can can put these things together so they can hand make my fucking tablets by hand because that's what she's got to do the way that this woman is carrying on You would think that she had to make the fucking pills her goddamn self. All you gotta do, bitch, is make a phone call. What is with your fucking attitude? I said this about the deli lady in the future Terminator fucking timeline, dude. If you don't like your job, whore, work somewhere else. Um, There's an NBC somewhere that is dying to have you. Dying to have you. A job requirement to work in the MVC, the DMV, whatever the fuck you call it where you live, is you have to be an asshole. A soul-sucking asshole human being. And not in a good succubus kind of way. You know, it's not fun. Douchebags. So this fucking lady is carrying on like you wouldn't believe, bro. You wouldn't believe... Well, I guess what I'm going to have to do, doctor, your doctor is, and she actually said her name nicely, which makes me think psychologically, I'm not a doctor, never went to school, but I would imagine that whoever this fucking mystery bitch is, she associates my doctor as a pleasant person. So even despite the fact that she's mad, she's got to fly out to Colombia to meet Pablo. You know, she's, she's, when she thinks about her, she's like, I like her. She's nice. Now back to douchebag. I'll have to call Dr. fucking Bones and Johns, whatever his name is, right? I don't fucking know. I go, I I don't know who that guy is. Like, it doesn't matter who he is. If you smell what the, what the fucking, what the receptionist is booking. You know what I mean? Dumb. Stupid. Stupid.
that wasn't funny. You should be ashamed of yourself. I am. I am. Okay. All right. So, she goes, I got to call Dr. Bones, whatever his name is, right? I go, all right. So, what does that mean? I go, she goes, but you need an appointment. I go, oh, look, I understand. Now, I'm about to, I'm about to jump on my soapbox here. Not even big time. I'm just going to give it one good shot. And if, if they if they say you're done, that's it, kid. It's over for you. Come off the mound. And I'm going to go, all right, well, that's it. I guess we're going to fucking, we're going to do what we need to do. She stops me before I, I go, well, all right, well, listen. She goes, no, no, you listen. You need an appointment. Now, are you going to make an appointment or am I going to hang up? I don't feel that was necessary, but what, all right, I'll make an appointment. I don't have you. There's nothing until Tuesday. My appointments are on Monday. I want you to realize I didn't even know until today, which is Labor Day, that it's Labor Day today. I don't know these things. These these days don't mean anything to me. When my own birthday comes and goes, it's another fucking day. Why would Labor Day matter? You know what I mean? So, you know, sorry, I forgot. I remember I remember New Year's Eve because of my grandmother's death. That's her birthday. I remember Memorial Day because of my cousin. You know, move his fucking thing out of his way. You know, because of him. And there's a couple other people, a couple other people that, you know, are connected to certain days, and that's it. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. So I don't realize at the time that she's scheduling me for Tuesday because today is a holiday. All right. Well, we need you to go to Whiting. Like, dude, I don't even know where that's at. I know where it is, but it's not close to me, bro. It's not at all. I'm gonna see. Oh fuck me! Yeah, dude, it's not it's not close at all. It's it's not even fair how far they're making me do this right now. But I can't tell you because then that gives too much away about where I live in my sick world. Maybe in a couple of years, whatever. I don't know. On a manic day when I don't give a fuck, maybe you figure out where I live. Today I care. For the moment, right now I care. You know. But anyway. They're having me go out to a place that is easily a half hour away from me. And that's not even including... That would just be by car. I'm t- I'm taking a transit bus, bro. I have to take the bus. I don't know how many buses I have to take to get to this place. I've never taken the bus to this place before. So this is like a whole fucking adventure that I'm going to have to go on. Which, don't get me wrong, I could use one... I could use one, so I'm not that. I was fucking pissed when they first, when she first told me that this is where I had to be. I was pissed because I know that this is gonna cost me a decent amount of money, but I'm kind of excited at the same time because it gives me an opportunity to have some different shit happen to me. So it's not the same parking lot every day doing the same shit. Nothing. You know what I mean? The only problem is, now we got pros and cons to the situation here. The pros are, a lot of older people live in this area that I have to go to. Now, I know what you're thinking. Older people mean higher risk category, right? But I'm in a high risk category myself. So, what I'm thinking is, despite the fact that I'm going into a high risk area that could be concentrated, if one person gets COVID in this joint, Everybody's going down. Everybody's going down, right? This is no good. However, I'm thinking because of that, they're all going to be inside watching the Weather Channel or The Price is Right, whatever is hot right now. Because I know Jeopardy don't come on to the afternoon. Despite the fact that the doctor's office plays Good Morning America, no decent American watches Good Morning America in the morning. I'm sorry. That's just not, doesn't happen. Nobody that I know that I 
I have respect for watches Good Morning America in the morning. Never. No one. I mean, I know people that would listen to death metal before they listen to Good Morning America in the morning when they first wake up. But that's whatever. Everybody has their own thing, right? You know. I'm figuring they're all going to be inside watching the television. So, not a lot of people should be on the bus, I'm hoping. Which should drop my chances of getting the COVID from the bus drastically. Especially because I have to take it early in the morning. Because I gotta be at this place, wherever this is, before 10 a.m., I think. I don't even know. I wrote it down somewhere. I'm pretty sure before 10 a.m. I had to be there. Which means... I really, I got to be at the bus stop at like 6, bro. Because I don't know how many buses it's going to take for me to get there. I already know I got to catch two. Just to get to the spot where I need to figure out how many other buses I need, I got to catch two. Maybe one. I'm thinking all together it might be like four or five buses. Depending. I don't have that much time, though, so I'm going to have to walk a decent amount of this. The good thing is that our buses have a thing where you can go to this. If you go to the sign, they have a text number. They say text blah, blah, blah to this number, and they'll give you a schedule of when the bus is supposed to show up. We did this yesterday when we walked to get the T-shirts that are 10 bucks a piece. Made by an independent artist. You're not going to find shit like this in a store. I promise you. I promise you, dude. You're not going to find it. You won't. You're going to want... You're going to want this shit. You're going to want this shit, bro. Like, dude, come on. This is... This is the next one. That's the next one. That's all you get. Anything on the fucking Instagram, bro. It can't be put on a shirt. Why fuck around? Why fuck around? Oh, you want letters on your shirt? Don't be an asshole. Who who, who wants to read? I don't want to read. That's for sure. It has nothing to do with nothing. Come on, man. Let me see. OB Trice on. I don't know. I got to figure out how many buses I got to take. The point is, I'm aggravated that I had to do this. I know this is partially my fault. Because I should have stayed on top of it. But I think everybody deserves one pass. Everybody deserves one pass from this quarantine. Because let's be, to be fair to me, I know maybe I don't deserve it, but I'm saying... To be fair to me, I've been everywhere I should be, on time, doing everything I'm supposed to do. We were months ahead before this quarantine happened. Now everything's all fucked up, but we're trying to get it together. But the point is, is this. This is the only time I've ever fucked up an appointment in five years, however long I'm going to this doctor for. They have called me. In the morning and said, we want you in the office now for a piss test or a pill count, which I'm sure they're not even allowed to do, but they've done it because they, oh, they switched it. There's the doctors have quit this place because of the crooked shit that goes on in this joint. But I mean, I'm not gonna just, it works both ways, bro. Don't, don't. Don't look down on me and act like you got your shit together when you don't. I miss one fucking appointment and these cocksuckers carry on as if, as if like what I'm really doing. Like it really is not, it really is not cool, man. Kill me a motherfucker. Look at you now. I haven't heard this in so long. I told you, don't fuck with me. Oh, you stupid fuck. Look at you now. I love that movie. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Ugh. Fuck it. Fuck it. You miss one appointment, bro. And motherfuckers carry on like it is the end of the world, man. It's not even... She goes... Here's the best part, bro. This lady says when she's calling the doctor... If I could backtrack a little bit... 
When she calls the doctor, she goes, we'll set you an appointment for Tuesday. I'm going to call the doctor to see what he wants to do. To see what he wants to do. But I want you to know, this is not guaranteed. Um, excuse me, question from, from the back. I thought you motherfuckers said that this medication was really dangerous. It is. I thought I have to carry a Narcan shot around with me wherever I go while I take this fucking poison. You do. If I give one of these pills to somebody and you find out you will put me in jail because it's a very dangerous and controlled substance that should be monitored closely by a doctor, right? That's right. So, how come then when it suits you, you can just say, maybe we'll give you your medicine, maybe we won't, despite the fact of all the dangers that we just said, and you could be put in a life or death situation, or at least that's what we pretend to tell you. Why, why is it that you can, how come you can say that, and then you can act like that? It, those two things don't really seem to match up together. I'm just saying you're not being very consistent. I feel like I'm being sold lies here. Um, but you see, the, the thing is, we just, we don't care. We're not the ones that are going to fucking be putting our lives at risk, whether we have or don't have it. And that's on you for putting your trust in us, your doctor's office. You know, the people who swore and made an oath that they would care for and protect their patients. You know, those people. Those motherfuckers are the same ones that tell me how dangerous all these pills are. How dangerous these pills are. How bad they are for you. How no matter what you're going to do in your life, you're going to be addicted no matter what. Because that's what this drug does to you. Despite all of those things. Despite the fact that you pass every drug test. With the exclusion of, of one recently, which is probably going to fuck me tomorrow, which I have tucked away in the back of my head. And if it does, good fucking riddance. I don't care. I can say that now because I'm not in a disgusting amount of pain. But I will be glad to be done with all this shit, dude. All the fighting. All the fighting over trying to, trying to prove to motherfuckers that I'm in pain. Trying to prove to you that I'm in pain? How the fuck do you prove to somebody that you're in pain, man? You can't do it. It's impossible. It is. Im you literally. You have to look at my face. And you have to say. I believe him. Or I don't know, man. I think this motherfucker is making up a story to try to get high. What do you think? What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. He don't look very good, but. I mean, you don't look like that for no reason, right? I think we should, I think we can believe him. I think we can believe him. That's what you have to do. That is literally, that's literally what you have to do. It's fucking insane. It's fucking insane, dude. Dude, if you're not listening to OB Trice, dude, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. Honestly, cheers, second round's on me. Last night I was going through albums, bro. If you have listen to me. If you if you if you like if you like rap music, if you like rap music and you listen to music from uh the early nineties to pre mumble rap, right, underground stuff, all like I'm a bit all over the place. I used to have a, a collection of Probably a thousand albums. I don't know where any of them are. And I can't remember. I wish I could sit down and remember every album that I ever had. But honestly, it's very hard to do. So I want to try to build the collection back up. And I'm going to do that. And I want to eventually. I want to make a very big playlist on YouTube. And I want to share it with the public. And it's going to be. 
every album that I've ever, ever had. With the inclusion of a couple that I haven't. Like, I'm not going to say I had Obi's album, both of them. Because he didn't come out until way after CDs were already gone, pretty much. And if he did, I was in a motel. You know, I wasn't in the position to be able to buy it. But this is, you know, you get what I'm trying to say. Look, I'm all over. I'm all over the fucking place. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna give. This is not. Hold on. Let me switch to Deadly Movements for the four albums. Cause maybe that would do it. Because sometimes the beat is distracting. Sometimes it isn't. This one, I think, is all right. So I'm just waiting to see. Yeah, this is all right. There's a great, there's a great one. Deadly Movements featuring Master Killer. That's the track, bro. This is my favorite one. If you took all the other... If you said you can only have one track from the Four Owls, what would it be? If we took every other song away from you, what song would it be? It would be a toss-up between Deadly Movements... And Life in the Balance, those would be the two songs I would have a hard time choosing between. Can I get an A and B side single, old school? That would be great. I would take those two, please. Those are my favorite. I like the other ones. I like the other ones, but those are my favorites, dude. You know, but, you know, I pop hot on a drug test for THC, trace amounts, because it's CBD. Right? Now, I told y'all, Lazarus Naturals, like, look, they don't pay me. They don't pay me, but check it. They don't pay me, but I use their products. As a matter of fact, I just, I just got the whole household, bro. And this is not cheap. I'm not saying this is cheap. And y'all know my financial situation is not great, but this shit works. So I would not be spending money on it, bro. I'm, I'm telling you. God damn nose. Whatever. I explain the nose thing. It's what I do. I can't help it. It's a fucking... It's a nervous thing. I've done it my entire life. I'm always gonna do it. I'm always gonna do it. There's nothing I can do about it. I just... I don't know why I chose now to be self-conscious about... About it. I guess maybe that's why everybody thinks I'm fucked up all the time. I mean, whatever. I've dealt with it my whole life. It's what it is. It is what it is. I just spent $120 and I bought two bottles of tincture, one of the mint CBD, 6,000 milligrams, I think. I bought a new one, a CBG uh, tincture, which is supposed to help with muscle recovering brain, immune system, you know, all the good shit that I should be worried about because I have multiple sclerosis and cerebral palsy, all the shit that I've been, you know, hearing about for years, I got some of that. Those bottles, the smaller ones each were, I don't know, I don't have the prices in front of me, I don't want to misquote, right? I also got a full bottle of lotion, not, this is a travel size, this is like, only a few bucks, but I got a big one. I got a big one of those. I got, what else I got? I got a can of, uh, you know, that bomb shit you rub on your, rub on your muscles, bro. That's, that's good. It's mint. I don't know. It's almost like Vicks Vapor Rub, except it's not. Like, you can use it, I guess, to breathe. I put it on my nose sometimes because it opens the nasal passages up and it smells nice. But you're supposed to, like, rub it on your muscle, your sore muscles and shit. I got some of that. What else I get? I think that's everything. I got tincture for Jen and me. I got lotion. I got... What did I just say? Lotion. Fuck. Oh my God, I can't remember. Oh no, hold on. I got the, I got a small bottle of the salmon for the cat. Right? I got the big bottle of the flavorless for the cat and the dog. Because 
We put the salmon in the cat's food to get her to chill from eating it all at once so fast. Flavorless for the dog so she can go back to being a fucking regular dog again and not some pet cemetery looking like motherfucker that I want to just fucking snap and bury in the garbage when nobody's looking, but you don't do that, right? She's going to go out with dignity. She's going to go out with dignity, goddammit, because that's, you know, a whole separate thing. But, the you know, the CBD definitely... Is it 120 bucks has bought something for everyone in this fucking house? That's, the tincture is going to last probably a month. Well, I mean, it's a medium-sized bottle, so maybe not. But I got the topicals to fucking try to, one, save my stomach, and two, make it last longer. Now, look, I told you, they don't pay me. I could advertise for them. But they take majority of the money, right? I don't, why would I fucking, why would I do all the heavy lifting? I mean, not really. Whatever. You see what I'm trying to say. You know, if I'm advertising for me, I mean, I still get 50% because I'm advertising even though, and I'm helping to put the shirts together. It's not like I'm not, you know, whatever. Well, she's going to get most of the profit anyway. I'm only taking... If we actually do wind up selling some shirts, which I really hope that we do, I fucking, I need to get sneakers again, because the last pair that I bought is no good. They're, they sent me the wrong ones, and DC will take 16 fucking days to uh, mail them back to me, or not mail them back to me, it'll take 16 days It'll take two weeks for them to get the goddamn package. And then 16 days after they get the fucking package to refund me the fucking money. It's not worth it. It's, it's ridiculous. But anyway, that's if we, if we fucking sell it, that would be great. The Lazarus Natural shit, dude. It's not cheap. I got a discount. And you can get a discount if you are disabled, low income, a veteran, whatever. These people don't fucking pay me to do this. I'm putting you up on this because a friend of mine put me up on it. And honestly, it helps me a lot. The tincture is very strong on the stomach, dude. So you got to be careful with that. Because that shit will... Don't make no plans because that shit will evacuate your entire morning. You can believe that. But I got the lotion to try to offset... The harshness on my stomach. Take a half a mill. I figured out the way to do it. Is take a half a milliliter of the mint shit. It doesn't taste like mint. Don't get excited. Drop it under your tongue. Yes, it's going to taste horrible. But that's how you know it's good for you. If it tastes terrible, it's probably good for you. That's the logic I've been bringing myself through this with. Yeah? So, I do that. Then I take the lotion. I squirt some on each of my hands. I rub down my fucking entire legs part by part using at least a teaspoon of lotion that's on my thighs, on my kneecaps themselves, the back of them, the calves, the ankles, the whole shit. Do all that. Shoulders, gotta get your neck. I even put a little bit, even though you're not supposed to. Put a little bit under my eyes right here so I don't look like a zombo from all the drugs that I'm on. Right? It helps. Now, I don't know. My pain is different from a lot of other people. So, my daily concoction would probably put some of you in a coma. There's three, six, nine, thousand fifty milligrams of muscle relaxers, 40 milligrams of Percocet. When I have the CBD, I start my day out with fucking 300 milligrams at least of CBD tincture. Plus, it's 50 milligrams, I think, of every teaspoon of the lotion. So I'm administering that on my fucking legs, dude. All of that. Now, obviously, the pills are not all at once, but the CBD is to wake up. The pill is to assist as the CBD goes away. 
the pill should kick in. You eat breakfast like a person, which reminds me, I forgot a thyroid pill. I gotta take that. You know, it's a it's a system and it works for me. I don't know if it will work for you, but if you're taking if you're going to a pain management doctor, the important thing here is there's a very strong possibility you will fail a drug test. Be it only for trace amounts of THC, but you will fail. I personally feel that the CBD helps me enough to weigh the risk. Like, if the doctor says you have to choose between your Percocets or taking CBD, I'm going to go, even though I know I can't afford it, I'm going to fucking take the CBD and I will... I will have to go get a medical license somehow. Because I get my hands back. I can use my hands again, dude. You know, it's not every time. It does, Nothing goes back to perfect. But God damn it, if it's, it's there. I can feel them again, dude. I can't tell you. You can't put a price on that. I mean, you can. Because if it was too much money, I wouldn't get it. And I would be stubborn and I would fucking do without it but luckily I don't have to so you know regardless of whatever happens with the fucking doctor right I'm sure I'm probably gonna get fucked tomorrow I know this if I don't get fucked I will be fucking amazed I will be amazed but I've accepted it if I get fucked I went years medicating with weed now it's medical where they actually know I can walk into a place and they know what they're giving me. So my experience should be better. I plan on dropping, smoking all together, and just go straight edibles and topicals. By next year, by next year, if weed is legal, I mean, fuck, even if it's not, by then I'll probably have a medical license, but still. I plan on quitting smoking altogether. No cigarettes. Maybe a joint once in a while. Who we kidding? Maybe every third New Year's we'll roll a fucking Philly just out of respect for the ghosts and the spirits, right? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. That's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. My favorite thing, I'm not even telling you to smoke it, dude. Just go and get yourself a strawberry Philly. And your favorite weed if you're a smoker, dude. And just just put them next to each other. And just give that little smell. Just give that little smell. Just imagine. that's. It, it's a shame that it's so bad for you. Because the flavors are great. I know that they're making technological advances. Where they have weed that tastes like strawberries. And that's beautiful. But I came up in a time where we didn't have that. You had to improvise. You know? Whatever. Look. We've been a lot of places. I told you a story. I'm still trying to save my voice. I have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow. Hopefully, I won't be dead. I joke, but I half mean it at the same time. I'm very nervous about going out in the world tomorrow, taking all of these buses, going to these places. Am I going to go? Am I going to be very upset? How upset are you going to be if you go all the way out there? And they fuck you over. I'll be very upset. But I know. It's ultimately for the better. So. I don't know man. I might have to fucking. If that happens dude. We might really have to set up a paywall. And just pray to the internet guys. That people actually show up. Because I can't go back. I can't go back to being in pain every day dude. I can't do it. I won't do it. I can't do it and I won't do it. Don't, I'm, I'm not, I'm telling you. I love to do this. I love to do this. I like the fact that, you know, I can talk to you. And, you know, somewhere you get it somehow. But uh, I'm, I can't, I can't be in pain every day, dude. I, I can't do it. I'm going to do whatever I need to do. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means, but I'm just, I'm telling you. Nobody, nobody should have to deal with the pain that I deal with. And I'm not saying I want anybody to feel bad for me. 
I'm not saying to feel bad for me. All I'm saying is don't, don't fucking, you can't judge my decisions, bro, unless you've been in the pain that I'm fucking in, is all I'm trying to say. I'm not looking to kill nobody. You know what I mean? I'm not even, I'm not looking to hurt nobody. It's just, it's for me, by myself, whatever I have to do. But I hope it don't come to that. I really do. It fucking, it sucks. And it's the worst because I, these are all worst case scenarios. I could be thinking about this for no reason. I could be making a whole bunch of something from nothing. But the sad part is what led me to this point was not nothing. This should not be allowed to happen. I'm telling you this because even though I'm afraid that it's going to bite me in the ass, I'm telling you this because I know somewhere somebody is dealing with the same thing and you think that you're all by yourself and you're fucking not because I'm here too. I'm in it. In the thick of it. Right with you. Maybe you're you're here for a different reason. I don't know what landed you here. All I know is how I got here. That's how I know. How you got here is not important. We can figure it out later. We can trade war stories. Right? Fucking love Tupac, man. Alright, look. That's it. It's been a fucking... It's been an hour. I've gotten my mania out. I will not be here tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow afternoon you will hear from me. Maybe earlier. Maybe I'll shoot a quick Instagram live on my phone in between buses or when I leave the appointments I'll let everybody know that I'm okay even though nobody's asking right because that's what social media is basically you have to make yourself believe that you're important enough for the moment that people give a shit whether or not you're okay so sometimes you gotta do that but I'll upload this now I'm going to Go see where Jen disappeared to. Take this thyroid pill. Wait a half hour. Make some fucking food. And, you know, shower. Start my fucking day. Despite the fact that it's one in the afternoon. It's been... It's been a lot. For the last few weeks. So, work with me. T-shirts are fucking coming. Stay tuned to the Instagram. At Laughing Birds Pod. On the Twitter at Laughing Birds. The cash tag, Laughing Birds, PayPal, Jack of One Trade. Five hour deposit for any t shirt design that you want. And another five, and we'll ship it to you wherever the fuck you live. Don't worry about it. We'll figure out shipping and all that stuff. We'll talk about that later. Enjoy this. I'm not sure when the next time I will see you is, but for now, I'm alright.